Sweden is to reintroduce conscription due to difficulties filling the ranks on a voluntary basis at a time of increased security concerns, the defense minister has said. Sweden ended compulsory military service in 2010 but military activity in the Baltic region has increased after Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, prompting Sweden to strengthen its military preparedness. The draft will cover men and women born in 1999 or later though only a small minority will be selected to serve. The defense minister said the move was in response to a deteriorating security environment in Europe. We have had trouble staffing the military units on a voluntary basis and that needs to be addressed somehow, Peter Hultqvist told Public Service Radio. Military service was the norm for young Swedish men during the Cold War but conscription was watered down after the collapse of the Soviet Union as the prospect of conflict in the region faded. But a resurgent Russia and tensions over the battle in Ukraine have prompted politicians to consider bolstering military capability while addressing the shortfall of people willing to pursue a career as a professional soldier. The lack of military preparedness has been exposed in recent years such as when Russian warplanes carrying out a mock bombing run on Sweden in 2013 caught air defenses off guard. The government's decision entailed the call-up of 4,000 men and women for military training in 2018-19. Hultqvist said motivation would be an important factor when selecting recruits. Sofia Hultgren, who turned 17 this year and could be drafted in coming years, said many young Swedes viewed lengthy careers as military professionals as odd and old-fashioned. I think many see it as something lame, something your father did, when there are so much other fun things to do, Hultgren, a student, told Reuters. However, she welcomed the reintroduction of military service and said she would consider such training, even if she did not want to make it a career. I think this can give a feeling of comfort. Conscription strengthens our defense when we see so much ugliness in the world, Hultgren said. A government investigation last year found that, with unemployment near zero, only about 2,500 young people were recruited annually, while the military needed 4,000. The wages for professional soldiers run well below the national average for the age group, providing little monetary incentive, while the pool of potential recruits primarily former conscripts from before 2010, has dwindled. This buffer is now exhausted and that leaves great challenges in recruiting, said Johan Osterberg, a staffing researcher at the Swedish Defence University. Swedish military expenditure has fallen from 2.5% of GDP in 1991, around the time the Soviet Union collapsed, to 1.1% 1 .1 in 2015. Data from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute shows. Sweden, which is not a NATO member, has since increased spending and reassigned troops to the Baltic Sea island of Gotland. It has also urged local governments to increase contingency plans for war. War 